We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. But that's my life. It has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Name, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the player. Are you the one? Day five in the House of Champions. It's been a long, exhausting week for the boys of Team Top Notch and Team Umbro. They arrived just five days ago from small towns and big cities alike. 36 players in total selected from across the nation after participating in a series of complex drills and small-sided games for the privilege of competing for a scholarship to Everton Football Club's Youth Academy. This last week saw the players being sorted into two teams, Team Top Notch under Coach Bassam I'm a coach, I'm an educator, I'm... and Team Umbro under Coach Busby. I think my team's going to win again. The teams have competed against each other three times so far, with Team Umbro winning the first two and Team Top Notch winning the last. The winning team gets to sleep in the House of Champions and enjoy all of its luxuries, while the losers are relegated to sleeping in the dome. And while there was plenty of action on the field, the drama continued off the pitch as several players found themselves in hot water over the course of the week. Logan Fales was disciplined for his brash behavior. Evan and Marco were benched due to breaking their curfew with some local girls. A lot of female fans around. You're a big timer now, is that right? And all of Team Umbro was given a thrashing by Coach Najar. He's going to say, Coach Busby, Coach Bassam, get rid of him, get rid of him, get rid of him, get rid of him. Injuries have also been a factor for several players. Latwain Anderson, Dave Vanderhoek, Clayton Young, and Mario Tatutsis have all been sidelined with various ailments. But the most serious injury to date was to team top notcher Sean Robertson, who, after consulting his doctors, made the difficult decision to bow out of competition. Ray Hall's arrival has added another dimension to the Soccer Dreams competition. The teams are no longer competing for a night in the House of Champions, it's the individual players who are now competing against each other to fulfill their soccer dreams. I'm going to do everything I can, like everything in my power. I want to stay. Only one player will go to Everton, and today's game will help the coaches determine who will be let go in tonight's first round of cuts. Clayton, stay on your feet, son. Both teams start out well, with strong defense and clever touches on the ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The first half looks like it might end up scoreless. Until Team Top Notch's Chris Arnett and Kaylin Lavery break from the crowd. After Team Top Notch's score, the game picks up in intensity as the players start to feel the pressure of the impending cuts. A routine block by Top Notch's Charlie Broglieu ends up looking serious. The loss of Charlie would be a huge blow to Team Top Notch's defense, and Coach Bassam can only look on helplessly as the referees inspect his ankle. In the world of sports, it only takes a split second for an injury to end a player's season and threaten their careers, as Team Umbro's David Vanderhoek knows all too well. After a long two minutes, Charlie is slow to get up. But luckily for him, he's back on his feet and back in the game. Meanwhile, Coach Busby's having a much harder time motivating his players. Just compose yourself. You're not working hard enough, hey? You're not working hard enough. You should have came back on side for that. You're not working hard enough. Jared, stop swinging, stay on your feet. Who cares? But to do what you did there, unacceptable. And to make matters worse, Team Top Notch scores again, seconds before halftime. 
The coaches take this opportunity to regroup and adjust their game plans. Just relax and start passing the ball. We don't have to go out 100 kilometers. Don't panic. Boom, boom, boom. Switch ball. Okay, it's not. Let's not go crazy. Okay. All right. One, two, three, top notch! First of all, as a coach, if I make subs, the idea of giving you an opportunity to play, as a player, when you go on the field, you should have something to prove, right? You should have something to prove. And to be jogging around, not putting in the kind of effort that's needed, is not good enough. Yeah. Okay, hey, house or tent? House. 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 More importantly, your own house or you stay here? Stay here. Stay here. It's up to you now. Good luck to you. It's during halftime that Marco Kiosh attempts to get in the game. Marco was traded to Team Top Notch the previous day and has had a difficult time getting noticed by Coach Bassam. Okay, what do you play there? I play uh, defense. Any position you need me for defense, I'll play. I played it all. Okay. All right. All right. Beautiful. All right. That's your new team. Start gelling. What's his name there? As the two teams take to the field again, Coach Bassam looks to increase his 2-0 lead while Coach Busby hopes his boys will find the motivation they'll need to stay in the game. In front of the watchful eyes of Ray Hall, the players know that their performance today just might be their last if they fail to impress. Coach Busby's speech must have reached the players because it's not long before Team Umbro manages to score. Hey, Santos, Dos Santos, right son. Are you listening? Good. Umbro continues to make the game interesting by scoring a second time, thus tying the game up with seconds to spare. No, but seriously, are you kidding me? If that second goal was not outside, I don't know what outside is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh... Shoot out! Let's go. Penalties, we need five. I'll see him take one. I mean, take one. Abby, take one. Take one. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? After taking an early 2-0 lead in the first half, okay. Team Top Notch gave up two goals in the second, thus allowing Team Umbro to tie the game. Hey, house or ten? House. 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 It's up to you now. Good luck to you. The pressure's on, as today's game will have to be decided by penalty kicks. Penalties! Five penalties, five shooters! Josh is going to go in net. I'll see take one. Emmy, take one. Abby, take one. Take one. As the referee briefs the keepers, both teams pick their kickers. Kicking for team top notch will be Gabriel Ebi Polino, Alex Kozalski, Emir Zernich, and Kalian Lavery with Ethan May in net. Kicking for Team Umbro is Abraham Donzo, Sahil Sandu, Hannah Zidane Benavidez, and Steven Awashko with Josh Lemos defending. I want to thank you because um, the effort that's gone in there, and it's not easy when probably a little bit of, uh, you know, one or two were a little bit nervous just to start up with. But we've set a good standard. It was okay. Um, one or two of you look as though that, you know, you're going to make progress. Okay? Have a good evening, boys.
After all the players are showered and changed, they head back over to the dome for dinner. It's at this time the coaches gather to discuss the players' performances. It's a long and difficult process, and no stone is left unturned. Each player is scrutinized and debated until the coaches are absolutely sure of their decisions. Right now here we've got the top 36 athletes that we could find in the country. I'm proud of them, but it's more than that. There's, we're out to look at, out to discover that gem that Everton's looking for, that every club's looking for. It's a game of opinion, but when it comes to the technical aspect and the tactical aspect, coaches with knowledge should be able to identify players and their strengths and weaknesses as they see them uh, for a period of time. You know, the idea is this is only the first step in the process. We will monitor and try to work with players to ensure that they do fulfill their dreams. But again, it's only an opinion, and players have to leave with the idea that they have to keep working to fulfill their own personal soccer dreams. We're all looking for the gem, the jewel. You start looking for things that, yeah, physically is okay, technically is okay, and there's something about the player that attracts you to the way he, he does things in the game. And it's as, as simple as that. Uh, it's nice to have Ray Hall here from Everton. He's a great teacher of the game. And obviously we have, put it this way, we have an exciting discussions. Um, you might call it arguments at times. But yes, we have different opinion of players, and it's good that as professionals and colleagues, we sit down and discuss that. Uh, he's, you know, they say in England he's a gaffer and he knows and he's more experienced than us and that's why we're here to learn from him as well in terms of identifying players. To actually be at Everton Football Club at 16, 17 years of age is more difficult than to get a university place at Oxford or Cambridge. This is the list of the boys who, unfortunately, have not made it into the next round. Okay. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the player. Are you the one? After arriving just five days ago, the 36 players selected from around the nation have competed in a grueling series of exercises and games in the race to become the one. Everton's Youth Academy manager Ray Hall has traveled here to select one player good enough for the chance to play on a premiership team. It's been a long week at the House of Champions. Every player's had a chance to show what he's got, but it's down to the coaches now. <laughs> Many players will be going home tonight. Many players will learn that they haven't got what it takes to be the one. If I got cut next, then I'd be upset, but I guess I'd just have to go home, prepare myself again for next year. My plans? Um... I wouldn't be happy about it, obviously, but it would strive me on. I would want to talk to the coaches afterwards, and I'd ask them, how can I improve? Because I don't want to just be cut and not know why. I think I'm doing well, personally. I think I'm, I've stepped it up, and I think I'm doing what I need to do. In a week already filled with plenty of drama, the stakes are about to get higher. The road to Everton draws closer now that the coaches have made the decision. And it's time to find out who's going home who will remain at the House of Champions. And for me, I'm afraid Bruno Texer area would be the player released, only because I really, I watched the game as everybody for an hour, so I couldn't really see him do anything. decision, seeing that they only base it on one practice, one game, 
I was surprised with Bruno getting cut. Um, Cause I thought he played pretty well. I mean, he wasn't like amazing every day, but he was like decent. So I'm surprised he went well. I'm kind of shocked with the, the Bruno cut. Um, I, I think they there might have been able to be a little bit different there. From the first day, I think it was improved. The coaches have helped me a lot. I know that I could have done better. I'd say the number two, AJ Jill. Just didn't quite do it. Well, I did my best, so I don't know. Obviously, I feel bad, but you know, I'm I'm the youngest one here, anyways. It was like the best experience uh, related to soccer in my life. So you know, it's not that bad. Uh, I just learned so much stuff, and you know, it's really good. And you know, someone has to get cut anyway. So uh, yeah, just come back next year and try even harder. Number four. Who I was actually surprised that he's nearly 19 years of age, or well, is 19 years of age. Um, Biniam Abraha. Yeah? Yeah, that's his name, Abraha, yeah. Uh, it's a good experience. We look like now like professional players. The place and the field and the pitch. Yeah. Number eight, Dante Monty. Hello. Hey, mom. To call me? Actually, I got cut. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Did they say why? Uh, no. It just no. so you, some are not as good as the others, so. Right? Yeah, that's okay. Did you have a good experience, though? Oh, yeah, it was fun. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, Marco Kiros. Kiros. He was number 20. Uh, I feel like I've, you know, tried my best, you know, it wasn't enough though, but, uh, you know, I feel that uh, I've gotten a lot of experience from you know, this whole thing, so, uh, yeah, I'll be here next year for sure. Hello. Hey, Ma. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I just made cuts today, and, uh, yeah, I got cut. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's, it's amazing, you know. It's just something that uh, will push me forward if I make it, if I make it or not. You know, just gonna make me want to want uh, a contract even more. Hello. Hey, Dada. Hey. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. yeah how are you? Oh, very good. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. So you have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Congratulations, anyway. Thanks, Dada. That's okay. Yep. You're gonna have a good experience. That's nice. So I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Bye. Love you. Love you too. I would agree with that, based also on uh, the weekly training attitude, both on and off the pitch. Um, those players definitely on up to Everton standard. Gentlemen, it's the end of the road. But I'm very proud of you guys. You've done an amazing job to come this far. Take this as one of the best experiences in your lives. Take it back with you and run with it. Learn from the mistakes.
become better athletes and become better people. Good job. For the players who remain, it's a bittersweet victory. The joy of passing the first round of cuts is tempered by the loss of their teammates. I guess hey, we're not the ones making decisions, the coaches. He knows what he's talking about, so I'll let him. He knows what he wants, what he wants and who he wants. So. It was nerve wracking for, I think, all of us. You know, nobody expected to go home, but nobody thought they were completely safe, too. So. Bruno is one that I, I didn't think he would have won, he would have won, but you know, people give people have to go decisions have to be made, right? And they, they didn't feel that he was pulling his weight, I guess. I'm sad that a lot of my friends are leaving, but at the same time I'm glad I'm still here and still trying to go for the spot for Everton. It made me realize more how hard do I have to work in order to be the one and in order to stay alive in this competition. There's plenty more cuts on the horizon, and while many of the players are happy to have survived the first round, they know that there can only be one who goes to Everton. They say you live once, so I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, I'm giving them pain. I was king of the streets, until they put me in chains. I got the heart of the game, you can a boss of the game. A dip of time and again, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got my back for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If you're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If they're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Train the day to sequel, money's the root of evil. Dying is guaranteed to live my life to free. Lord, I came from the ghetto, even murder with middle. If you heard it together, you see the reason my mental is going through pain. If you insane, then we the same.